The Original Source Australian Board Riders Battle is a unique event, not only in surfing but across all sports, as virtually unknown hometown heroes can compete against world champions cheered on by their best mates and a bunch of crazies on the beach, all stoking the fire of team spirit. Landing here in Cronulla, 20 board riders clubs who qualified through eight regional contests will go head to head across the Australia Day long weekend in skins, women's and teams events to crown an overall winner and take a share in 120 grand of prize money. Club surfing is like, we're all like a brotherhood, you know. We all want to beat each other, but everyone loves the coming together at these events. Coming to surf for your clubs a whole different dynamic because You've got your whole beach behind you and it's, it's like, it's fun for the team, you know, so there's a lot of pressure riding on it. Look at the depth in all the teams, it's amazing the talent pool that comes out of Australia, just from the clubs, like, I remember surfing my first club comp when I was five, just with all my mates, like, yeah, just push in with, with our mums and dads and it's so cool. You know, the whole team kind of thing, I love it, I think it's, you know, it's so much fun and you, you know, you get to surf for your hometown and there's nothing that I could be prouder of. We travel the world all year on the world tour by ourselves, you know, competing for ourselves. So to be able to come and surf for your club and give back to the local community that support you all year is something really special. Snapper are probably clear favourites. Um, they were last year, they probably are this year. They're probably the dominant club in the country and they know they're, they're marked. The other guys would love nothing more than just to beat those guys, you know. They wouldn't even care about the prize money, wouldn't care about the title. As long as they beat Snapper, it probably counts for something, you know. They'd, they'd go home happy. We've got a target on our back. We're really trying to, to go back to back, you know. I think every club, and not only Snapper, but we want to be, like, the greatest Australian surfing club and, and hold that title for a long time. So we don't want to give up on, you know, and let it slide. We bring our best team down here. We really have a good track. OK, we've got three different formats. We've got a skins format, a women's heat, and then a teams event. The skins format is the best surfer from each club. They go head to head in a pretty epic battle. The best surfer's wave wins. He stays in the water and goes up against the next three clubs that join him in the water. You can win $1,000 for each skin and 1,000 points for your club. With a dynamic format, the event kicks off with the skins. You just need to have opportunity. Defending champion Snapper board riders unleash Joel Parkinson. Getting Snapper rocks off to the best start possible. Joel takes his first skin, scoring an eight for a maximum of 10 in tricky conditions. Parko's out there now, he's got an eight point ride. We're, we're happy about that. It's a, it's a good start, it's a thousand points. So it's a, you gotta win this first seed. It's very, very critical. Joel Parkinson wins the first skins heat, scoring an easy thousand points for his club and remains in the water for heat two wearing the leader's red jersey. Off to the perfect start, defending the title. Here we go, it's a little roll, and this thing's breaking wide. Great little Rio here, off the bottom, just getting that groove going on this thing. Now fading back, trying to link it, which he's been doing easily. Big finish on the inside for Joel Parkinson. This is kind of starting to look pretty ominous for uh, the rest of the field. Parko is starting to mow through this thing. Now, let's talk about this kid here. Kalani Ball, so Scarborough, the current under-18 Australian junior champ. Yeah, he's and a kid been. who is going to be incredible. Give him a couple of years. Well, here goes Kalani on the inside here. It's a little kind of rip bowl roll in there. His big forehand air rev. It's good to see like that. Uh, you know, like Kalani was in my heat. He's an under Australian under 18 champion, and just being able to see that like diversity and surfing against people you never get to surf against. Surf against is really good. Although Kalani Ball is an Australian champion. Joel Parkinson is a world champion, winning another skin and re-entering the water to battle fellow World Surf League competitor, Bede Durbage. He's got two really big turns. With just seconds remaining, Bede Durbage in blue is holding the lead over Joel Parkinson with Nathan Hedge in third position. He goes Hedgey, Nathan Hedge needs an 877, fading on his backhand, a searing little turn here, working it over, this thing is filling up with water, now it stands up. What's he got? Little backhand jam. Needs to go big here on the inside and what? sticks it. Oh! 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 Nathan Hedge from Narrabeen stops Joel Parkinson's run and re enters the water in the leader's red jersey. Being from North Narrabeen, you know, it's our 50th year and you've got generations of depth and talent. And you feel that when you paddle out for your heats. You know, you can't help but be like overcome by it. 
After taking the valuable scalp of Snapper Rock's Joel Parkinson, Nathan Hedge surfs on to take two more skins and put North Narrabeen at the top of the leaderboard. After the break, the women enter the battle, adding valuable points to club scores, and in the first round of the team's event, World Surf League number two, Tyler Wright, risks life and limb to get her hometown club of Kalbara on the path to victory. The original source Australian board riders battle starts on remote back beaches and winding point breaks as surfers from across Australia qualify through regional events. It's a massive part of Australian surfing culture I guess so um, and it definitely shows in, um, how good our country is at surfing and um, I definitely reckon it comes from the board riders clubs that we've got all around the state and all around Australia. We all ended up getting fives and sixes and came over the win. We're excited this year, everyone's going to be around. Hopefully we go well down there. It's going to be amazing representing um, South Australia into Cronulla. Just yeah, see how we go up against the big guys. Cronulla Beach here on, well, Saturday, the Australia Day long weekend. With a building swell, the girls enter the lineup with only 300 points separating the top 10 clubs. For the Snapper Rocks powerhouse, Holly Poppy is an amazing surfer. There's a real pulse in the swell. It's uh, Paris Whitaker yeah. from the Cronulla Sharks. Local surfer Paris Whitaker takes valuable points for the hometown club, Cronulla Sharks. Yeah, it's really good to surf with all the professionals. It's great to see them out there, see what they're doing, and just know where you have to be and what to strive for. The Sharkies will be pumped after that one. Here is Steph Single for Lennox Bell in the big section. In a heavy shore break, Margaret River surfer Bronte McCauley lays down some big scores. It's Bronte McCauley, of course, surfing for Margaret River. I think it's going to be a nine point ride yesterday is that girl on screen from Margaret River doing the job and doing it well. Yeah, Bronnie McCauley just locking in a, uh, a nine. Best way we've seen in the girls' uh, heat so far. Of course, the highest rated girl here um, in the field, Tyler Wright. And well, there she is already just dominating this lineup. She's already chalked up a six three phase back and gets absolutely planted in the shorey. A club that didn't exist 12 months ago, championed by professional surfers Owen and Tyler Wright, Kalbara board riders from southern New South Wales makes its presence felt. Now, looking for a section here on the inside shorey. There it is, just wanted to make sure she completed it. Philippa Anderson from Merriweather puts her club into first place, closely followed by Snapper Rocks, with the newly formed Culborough board riders moving into fifth place. It was established in March 2014 and um, inspired by this event, actually. Like, pretty much our whole town came, came down to support. They got on the train from Culborough at 6.30 in the morning, so, and just, they all just came up. Right now, now entering the water, the team's event. 
The teams are made up of one junior, three open age surfers, one surfer over 35 years of age, at least one surfer must be female. Heat to one hour with a relay style changeover. Here we go. Is that Trev cutting back? He's got a sure to work with here. Oh boy, and he's come off. Fuck. So this is Isabella Nichols, and how good is this experience for her? She's out there. Typifying the spirit of the event, 17-year-old Isabella Nichols from Coulomb competes against Joel Parkinson. This is the man we want to talk about, JJ. Yeah, Joel Parkinson, big star of this event, and uh, why not? He is going to town on this one. Look at that slash on the inside. See Tyler right now. That's one of the stars of the event. Definitely one of the stars. And from one world tour surfer to another, Tyler Wright enters the lineup. All sorts of this. First left of the day, Tyler Wright from Colborough. And uh, throws into the lip, puts herself in a really weird part of the lineup. It could be quite hard for her to get back to the to the peak. Oh, she's in the pool. Oh, JJ. Wow, look at this. This isn't happening, is it? I think she'll be all right. She'll get a ball back. No, she oh, won't. Goodness. Get that leg rope off. Oh, quick smart. Oh, dear. Maybe, wow, heavy situation there for Tyler. Oh, dear. I think she needs a new board. I think really? she'll be okay. Is that a thumbs up? Oh, she's... No, she's all right. She's, she's just... just nah, she's fine. <laughs> that was a heavy situation, hey. This is... Do you know what this is? Getting a hug from Brother Owen. She's all right. That would have been really, really scary, getting caught up in the ropes. Here's, like, a girl that was within a whisker of winning the world title last year, willing to almost surf on a dry rock. For... For her, for her club team that wasn't even here last year. It was just a, it's a new club team. And do it for her brothers and all the guys she grew up surfing with. And that's what she did. That's the pressure of surfing for your club. Like, she wasn't going to let the club down. Like, she wanted to get a score on that wave. Bruised but not broken, Tyler Wright is taken to the hospital for precautionary checkup. While in the water, Joel Parkinson fires more blows to fend off any contenders. And uh, he's, has won multiple world titles. Huge. At the end of the first round of teams, Joel Parkinson moves Snapper Rocks back to the top position. And after the break, we check in to see if women's world number two, Tyler Wright, is uninjured and will her accident spell the end for her club, Kalbara. Boost Mobile's $40 unlimited offer gives you talk, text and MMS. Plus, now get up to 2.5 gigabytes of data. Terms and conditions apply. Connect in-store or online at boost.com.au. With a rich history starting with humble beginnings, Australian Board Riders Clubs are the bedrock that surfing's pathway to podium is built upon. Coming to life when a few hardcore surfers dotted around the country decided it might be a good idea to meet up on a regular basis, now more than 200 Board Riders Clubs can be found coast to coast across Australia, from sleepy seaside towns to bustling cities. By the time kids are, say, 18 years of age and ready to kind of go on that pathway towards pro surfing or just to be a, a very good competitive surfer, um, they've had such a good grounding, you know, through the club system. Our surfing heroes cut their teeth in board riding clubs. You know, club contests were fierce. There was Simon Law, Matt Hoy, myself, Nicky Wood. MR used to come home from, uh, from the world tour and actually surf on the weekends in the club contest just to keep his game up. The young guys coming through, they've got these role models to look up to and 
they've got the competition there to, to go and you know beat their mates and try to be the best at their own club. At the start of day two, Snapper Rocks hold a slim lead over Merriweather, closely followed by North Narrabeen, and in good news, an injured Tyler Wright gets the all clear. Yeah, yeah, she's back um, stable. She'll probably make an appearance down here later. Support the club. She's um, doing real well. As her hometown club, Kalbara, hitting the water in fourth place overall. And that sort of thing. As we see Quinny, who's one of the uh, founding members of the club, and he's, he's got a nice looking wave. Jay Quinn from Kalbara puts in a strong performance and takes out the first skin of the day, but then runs into this man, Garrett Parks from Byron Bay, who wins skin number two. He's got a really nice snap, and if he can jam his end section, we could be looking at a huge score here for Parks here. Wow, he stuck the finish there. With solid scores landing from all surfers, Garrett Parks is then shut down by World Surf League competitor Adrian Ace Bucken, who takes out the third skin of the day. Not that the clubs need a lot of encouragement, there was a five grand prize in the Fox Sports Patriot Award. This had some strange interpretations. The camaraderie and just the great time we're having is pretty awesome. And not just the surfing rivalry. With three skins under his belt in day one, Nathan Hedge prepares to go back into battle. Here, fades back on his backhand, lines up, little backhand whip. Plenty of little rip bowls, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, there. That's, that's all it is. It's, it's rip bowls for miles. Here goes Durbo on the inside. Wow. Oh, hang on. And it means Evoca uh, roll on. So big skin win there for uh, for Adrian Bucken for Evoca taking it out. So Evoca rolls on, Adrian Bucken rolls on. Right After two solid wins, Adrian Bucken runs into Scarborough's Nick Squires. Good little wave for him, three oh. turns. That was a little... As Adrian Bucken leaves the water, Nick Squires runs into the now almost unstoppable Joel Parkinson. After round two of the skins, Joel's efforts move Snapper Rocks just less than 300 points clear of the field. But the event is not just all about the leaderboard, it's about the spirit of surfing. As an organisation, we're really proud of this event. Love the opportunity to provide this to our board riders clubs. It's good for the community and it all starts at grassroots, which, which is what this is about. With the local heroes from those regional areas and communities up against the big names of the sport. It's obviously a dream to surf against people like Parco and Mitch Cruz and all the CT surfers. I think every year like Tassie's getting more and more competitive because this is kind of the second year that we've actually been able to compete against the mainland surfers. And before that, you know, we're just in our own little island, got our own little comps, and we don't even have phones down there. We're oblivious to what's going on up on the mainland. And really, we get up here and it's just like a whole new world. Yeah, we're next to the North Narrabeen. They're pretty funny guys. Yeah, Hedgie gave me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's unreal. We get to surf games well to the surfers. Um. You're not just like a fan then, you're like kind of an equal with them. If you're like around the water, you can chat to them and you're kind of like at one with the pro surfer. It's so cool. After the break, we come back to talk to Snapper board riders and then the finals are on. to raise a family. Snapper surf riders are defending champions and although the club has a long list of wins, the team still surf on raw nerves with a truckload of passion. I still get so nervous. I'm more nervous, you know, starting our team just then in our first heat, wondering how it's going to go. This is not like an easy event at all for anyone. Especially with Snapper, you really want to win for your club. 
losing with your team, it's a hard thing to do. And team surfing isn't a team sport, so it's, it's good to have, you know, that camaraderie in a team and, and I guess win together and lose together. I mean, we've got a bit of a youth policy. We're throwing them in the deep end and going, you know, it's time to mix it with the big boys. And our junior girl has uh, taken the spot of Steph Gilmore. I mean, a six-time world champion, sure, irreplaceable. Uh, we've got a junior girl who is stepping up. I'm replacing Steph, like, not doing a good job of replacing her, but, <laughs> um, you know, still that they've put me in that position is amazing. With a snapper, I'm so honoured to be a part of it, and, and it's like my family. But, you know, I guess this whole contest together really feels like a big brotherhood. Live with the team's final, with Snapper Rocks leading and Culborough in second, and only 12 points behind in third, is North Narrabeen. The Snapper really uh, still got a bit of work to do. The team's final will add the most points to the overall event winner's tally, and here teams can make big moves. If there's a chance for any club to unsettle the defending champions, this is it. Say to every other club that you are the best surfing club in Australia. Here we go, is the beach start. There we go. And here goes Mitty Parkinson. Just fading back, Lincoln. In the one hour teams final, Joel Parkinson's cousin Mitch lays down a solid score, as does Perth Stanley from Bondi. Stanley from Bondi. Great weightless floater there. Just linking up this section. Nice little blast, fades it back. Joel Parkinson, he has not missed a beat in any team seat. Here we go, Jake Sharp, second attempt now. Yeah, good looking little wave here for Jake, Jake Sharp. Jake Sharp from Coffs Harbour lays down a big score and in this all important final creates a serious threat to the Snapper Rocks lead. That's the one he wanted. Yeah, big juicy number there for uh, Jake Sharp, an 8.17 opener for Coffs Harbour, just as he's done all event. Or well, Parco just, well, just putting the foot down and he's gonna roll through. He can't fall here because he hasn't got a backup score. He's gotta finish this thing. And great Joel delivers while fellow World Tour surfer B. Derbidge pushes limits to score valuable points and a challenging shore break. Big forehand turn, lays it on his backhand. Great turn, oh, and falls. Here comes the banana. Well, both Bondi and Stratty, they're starting to run out of time. Coffs Harbour starting to roll in. Coffs Harbour keep extending their lead with help from Sean Cansdell. Here we go, JJ. Great looking wave here. The fourth surfer for this team, and uh, they're sitting in third. And Sean's gone out there. It looks like he's found himself a pretty good wave. With Coffs Harbour starting the team's final event well down on the leaderboard, they need to win the team's event to feature in the overall top three places. He is ripping this weekend. They're going to send Jake Sharp out there, who's probably been the best surfer out of any club all weekend. Coffs are killing it on the clock as well. They're winning on the scoreboard, winning on the clock. They've got tons of time. Jake Sharp lifts the performance level with powerful high scoring manoeuvres, making the most of the waves on offer. He's got to do something on the inside here. Coffs Harbour raised their banana man higher as the entire team has contributed to first place in the team section. But will this be enough to boost them in front of defending champion Snapper Rocks and take out the overall title? Coffs Harbour. With Jake his Sharp impressive up, finals mate. performance in the team final, Jake Sharp wins the Wayne Bartholomew medal for best male performance. The Lane Beachley medal for best female performance goes to Point Lookout's Stacey Holt. Nick Squires from Scarborough slammed this massive backside top turn to win the Milwaukee Heavy Duty Hack Award. Arguably the most important award, the Fox Sports Patriot Award for the club with the most spirit throughout the national final goes to Bondi Board Riders. And finishing third in the important overall leaderboard, the newly formed Culborough Board Riders from southern New South Wales. And after a huge team finals effort that saw them rocket up the leaderboard, in second place from New South Wales, the Coffs Harbour Board Riders. And for the second consecutive year, they rule again. The winner of the original Source Australian Board Riders battle, Snapper Rock Surf Riders. The team, you know, the camaraderie, we don't get that enough in surfing. You know, it only happens once a year at this scale, so to be a part of it, it feels like the Super Bowl board. And for us to, to walk away, not last year and this year as well, is, is really incredible. We're, we're, we're all over the moon.